Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Jo. Thanks for joining me. It has been a little while. Life has been a little bit busy. Um, but today I wanted to create a card and I have another really quick little embossing folder technique that I thought I would try using my Distress Oxides and a brayer. So this is going to um, just give a light look over the top of our embossed image. So I'm using the Ultra New Cupped Blossoms 3D Embossing Folder. Again, you can use whatever embossing folder you have. Um, I'm sure you've got plenty in your stash. I already have a little sentiment picked out. Just this little thanks here so that you don't have to sit and watch me bossic through that little box of sentiments. I have worn lipstick in the Distress Oxides, squeezed lemonade and picked raspberry. And I have a brayer. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply some colour to my card panel using the squeezed lemonade and the worn lipstick. So you can use any colours at all. Um, I would stick to colours obviously that work together that aren't going to give you mud. So by using these two colours here I'm going to end up with a little bit of an orange tone. So I'm going to go with the worn lipstick first. This brayer is slightly um, slightly dodgy, it doesn't roll very well, but I like all the marks that have been left on it, so I'm a little bit hesitant to throw it out. So this will work better, obviously, if you have a brayer that's actually working for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my brayer, and when you're loading up your brayer, you want to make sure that you are lifting and rolling. You don't want to be going back and forth, because obviously you're only then getting a... Um, a little bit of the brayer, not having the whole brayer inked up. So you want to keep going, lifting and rolling. And then what we're going to do is roll this onto our cardstock. And again, in the same motion, you don't want to be going back and forth, otherwise you're just getting that small part of the roller. So keep rolling, ink it up again. And again, I don't want a, a complete coverage of this. I want some space. I want it to look a little distressed. Another tip also would be to tape your um, panel to your mat just so it doesn't move anywhere. Or if you've got one of those group mats, that would be a really good idea too. So now I'm going to come back in with the squeezed lemonade. Just going to clean my brayer off in between. And I don't wash my brayer, I just give it a wipe over. And I'm going to load it up with the squeezed lemonade. And again, rolling it on. Okay, so I think what I might do now is I might come back with just a little bit more pink. Just going to bring a little bit more back into it. So you can see you end up with this really soft kind of distressed look. enough so there's our color added to our panel just give that a bit of a clean so I'll just show you that there it's a really nice look it's um you can almost kind of feel and see the texture in it, it looks really cool so what I'm going to do now, using my embossing folder, I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. 
I'm not using the whole of the folder I'm just going to pick out a section that I like and I don't know whether I go this way or the other way I think I might go this way just so I can also get this flower on go like that. Just give me a couple of seconds while I run this through my embossing machine, my die cutting machine. So you can see here, it's a little hard to see some of the detail because of the way that colour is on the background there. But we're now going to come back over this with this picked raspberry and we're going to apply this colour the same way that we applied our base colours. So I'm just going to pick it up with the roller and lightly just roll over the top of it because again you can always build color up if you go too heavy you can't take it away is having a little trouble rolling there. Oops. Just a little bit more up this way maybe. I'm not too bothered if I get it on the background. I think that it's kind of all blended enough that we can work with that. So there we go. That is our card panel. So I have already cut this down to um, fit my card base. Just clean this up. And I am going to just quickly pop the heat gun on this just to make sure that it is all nice and dry before I attach it to my card. So I've got my card base here. Oops, looks like we can cut a little bit more off of there, I think. Let's get trimmer gone. So we need, oh, we need five. Should we cut from this side? I'll cut from the other side, I think. feeling that card base may be slightly shorter which is why I needed to cut more off but that's okay we can still work with it there we go let's pop that on our card base straight that's not too bad I 
Okay, and now we've got our little sentiment. Down here, up here. Oh gosh, here we go again. Let's not overthink this. I'm going to pop it right there. Let me just grab some foam tape. Um, let's, oh, here we go. I've actually already got some that's stuck on my roll, which was handy. A little bit too wide. that right there let's not overthink things are we straight that looks pretty straight and there's our card so just another way that you can add some ink to your embossed images um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed that I would love for you to click the like button subscribe that would be awesome and until next time happy crafting take care